Welcome or welcome back. It's another day of Vlogmas. Today's day 12 and I'm going to the store so I need to make my bed really quick and then head out because my cat has no food and he's starving. And I thought I'd just get myself some Starbucks while I'm in the Target. Because my mom has the card on there and I think she still has some money on there. So thanks mom for the coffee. I just got back from Target and I got my um, Maxi some more food and he was already chowing down like while I was taking it out of the can. <clears throat> so safe to say I think he likes it and it was on sale so that was good and I bought him two different packs and ended up spending like $33 but I also was able to get myself a toffee nut latte on my mama. Thanks, Mama, again. Mm. I talked to my cousin, like, twice this morning on FaceTime, so that was nice. And now I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of the time I do have, um, looking for a job and then getting ready for the date. So I will see you guys then. Y'all, I'm still sitting in the same spot and literally haven't drank any more of my coffee. Because I went on Instagram to do my daily work on my Instagram and I saw that a bunch of bunnies commented on all my on my last two posts and I'm just so excited because I was like, oh my god, that person has 15,000 followers. That is so nice of them. But then I saw somebody who had 274,000 followers comment twice on the same video. <laughs> These bunnies are so sweet. And then I came on here to actually tell you guys about this. They're all planning trips. And I think I've told you guys about that before, like to LA, to Mexico, etc. Well, this girl lives on an island and said we could stay at her house for free and meals would be on her and she's a photographer and it's on a like island called in Antigua I don't know how to say it but I will look into that and I'm like what you want us to go to your island and you'll let us stay there for free and you'll feed us and this girl was like, oh, it costs $3,500 for me to fly there. And I'm like, it only cost a thousand for me, so I'll freaking show up. I don't have money now, but I, I can I can get a thousand dollars together for a round trip to a private island to do a photo shoot with a bunch of bunnies. Absolutely. Count me in. So I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that because I was so excited just for like the opportunities I'm about to get. So, yay, thanks for being here. And I'll see you guys um, actually right now because I have to get ready. Okay, so I am dressed now. I'm wearing my orange jacket and this shirt I actually got from a first Friday like years ago. Maybe one of my first, first Fridays. And it was a dollar. It was like a bin of vintage clothing or like thrifted clothing and I just went through the bin and saw this and I was like I need it and it still fits all these years later so it's amazing love it and it looks the exact same and it's just black on the back maybe that's why people didn't like it but I like it and I'm wearing my packs and jeans that have this on the side I always think different jeans are cool and then typical jewelry because I don't really have any jewelry that was not given to me by my ex and I don't want to wear any of it but it's about time to go I feel like that's okay new it. addition to the fit my coffee in this cute little bag and my typical white shoes 
this bag is full of my tissues. <laughs> and a Pringles can full of tissues. But guess what guys, this might be TMI. My mucus is white again. So. I looked up why it's green though. Yes. Well, you probably know. I didn't know. It's dead white blood cells. Why do white blood cells turn green? I don't know. But I'm so glad I'm not there anymore. All right, I just cleaned my kitchen. Looks pretty good, right? There was literally nothing, but somehow I just found three more flies. And there was two when my family was here, so that's not a good sign. But I haven't seen any more, so <laughs> fingers crossed it stays that way. I hit all the blinds already, so that way I would see if any flew out. But it sucks. Like, the minute we have trash is the minute they find us. And so I need to take out the trash. I just made dinner. Wow, you guys get a, quite an adventure. Okay. I wonder what you guys are going to see. Literally up my nose. Got it. Okay, well, I'll say that again. I just made dinner, and I got done with the dishes from after I got back from hanging out with my friend. And I finished a painting, actually, which is oil, because I didn't realize I brought oil paints. And so it got messed up on the trip home. But this is it. Maybe I'll show you guys like this, too. Yeah, pretty sad. But I haven't changed yet because I saw one fly and I was like, oh, hell no. So I cleaned and then I found a dead fly and then I found another live fly. And I was like, oh my God, uh, not again. Oh my gosh. I saw this black speck and I was like, need to investigate immediately. We're in the clear. But yeah, I'm keeping my door shut because I'm not going through that, especially in my room. Because <sighs> I don't have anything in here. But I'm going to eat, and I'll see you guys later. Oh my god, surprise, surprise, I'm in bed. I feel like this is where I'm always vlogging now, and it's probably not good. But it's what we're going to get. I just came on here to tell you guys a little bit more about how the uh, new friend went. So they were so freaking cute, first of all. Like... They look like a more beautiful version of David Archuleta. And I was obsessed when Crush came out. <laughs> Love David. Anyway, they're cuter. Sorry, I think I need to just fix my hair really quick. You guys can sit here and watch me with that. So they look like David Archuleta. And I was just mesmerized every time I looked at them. That I had to look away because I was actually losing my train of thought looking at them. Um, which is easy for me to lose train of thought, quite honestly. Because I get nervous looking at people in general. But looking at them, I was like, oh my god, why are they looking at me? They're so cute. Stop. And they were just so sweet. But we had a typical like 10 15 minutes of them getting lost and having to find not typical for them but typical for people that show up to this park because this park is huge so everyone parks somewhere different but they parked across the park i felt so bad they find me finally and they brought a joint so we got elevated in my car it was so fun we got so lit and then we picked a spot on the island to paint. And then I surprised them by having oil paint. And they're like, oh, I thought you were bringing acrylic. So did I. Um, awkward. But I saw this new paint set and I was like, oh, sick. I'll just bring this one instead of this one. I didn't think it'd be oil, but it was fine. They did a great job painting too. And they brought a bunch of snacks, which I thought was cute. And then I brought all the supplies. I brought two easels, the oil paint set, my paint brushes, a paint cup, and the tarp. 
and paint trays. And then we hung out and painted for probably like... So we hung out from like 4.30 to I want to say like 7. So quite a while. And I was like, the only reason I had to go is because... Okay, so we were freezing while we were painting outside. So we went inside my car and smoked the rest of the joint. And then I had to pee from the minute we got in my car. And so I was like, I was going to go. I was just like, I'm ready to leave. They're probably ready to leave. Like, I'm just going to go. And they were like, oh, do you have somewhere to be? Like, do you need to go? And I was like, no, 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 no. I'll stay. So I stayed. But then I had to pee so bad that like every turn I made, I like literally almost pissed my phone. So that was not good, but I'm just glad I had fun, and I'm glad they were cool. Um, especially because they're like the first um, not woman that I've connected with as a friend. So I'm excited for that, because I need to have a better idea of, um, I don't know. Because they're like, they go by they and he, I'm like... I'm trying to say, like, I need more men that I know that are good. But, like, I know a lot of good non-binary people. So, that wouldn't be the same. But most of the non-binary people I know are females. I don't know. That's kind of, like, complicated to um, describe to you guys. But it's just because I don't have a word for it. But I'm just happy that they're cool. Um, and I don't know if there's anything else really. They never been to that park. So they were surprised at like how big it was and how beautiful it was. And honestly, the only thing was that it was freezing. It was so cold. I ate a Hot Pocket for dinner, which you guys kind of saw, kind of didn't. I posted another vlog. Oh, I applied for a bunch of jobs. I didn't tell you guys. I probably applied for like five more jobs today. I posted on both my spicy accounts a bunch. So that's good. Gonna get some money from there. So I applied for unemployment like the day I got fired. And apparently like three days later, they sent me some mail saying like I needed to respond within five days or they wouldn't accept it. They would like cancel my request or something and so they did that they canceled it but then they ended up sending me the card and the card just has no money on it and i'm like okay well i just wanted that as a backup but now it's been like two weeks that i'm not getting paid my mom said they might backdate it like give you like the amount for like the weeks you missed um and i sure hope so but i need like a doctor's note that says i have anxiety and depression so I could send it to them because I claimed I have that disability and they just want medical proof that I have that. I'm like, okay. So before I get it approved, I have to send that to them. And I could do it online. So I'm not really sure why they sent me mail. And they sent me like seven different letters of all forms I filled out online. And I'm like, why would you guys do that? Why? Such a waste of paper. And I know I didn't click no, send me paper. I know I, I would click paperless, if anything. But I need to drink some water. Also, needed to tell you guys, I did not eat good today. So, I really do need to meditate, journal, and get back on track with my health. And eat three meals a day. But you guys should know that me being sick, having a breakdown, like, all of that just kind of push me back it feels like like I've taken like five steps back and I just got one step forward before so it's like fuck but it's okay not to worry that's how it happens that's what growth is so I'm okay with going backwards I just wanted to let you guys know that it was scary today because I got home from hanging out with them and realized I didn't eat anything all day. When I was with them, I ate a few hot Cheetos because they brought them and like uh, two pieces of candy. But then like, I was like shaking on my way home, like just like, 
like my body not really anxiety shaking and i was like oh my god i haven't eaten a single thing today besides those little snacks i just ate this is not good and so i ate the hot pocket and i feel a little better but it was not good i'm gonna still eat some snacks i think before i go to bed because i will wake up from hunger in the middle of the night it's so weird um, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything else for the rest of the night because I already applied for a lot of jobs. And then I think that's it. That's all I have to tell you guys for now. I think I'll just end off the vlog here. So I am so happy you're here. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you. If you want to tell me anything, I'm open to listen. I'd rather hear your story than attend your funeral. So let me know. You can DM me if the comments is too personal. But I love you all. Thanks for watching.